Hey guys, uh, are you a bear? Yes, and you're heading for the recycling plant. Ooh, Kazooie, you, you savage beast. Anyways, hey guys, Mr. Bright Guy here for, whoa, Mr. Bright Guy here for a new episode of Banjo Tooie. Da da da. And there we go. Uh, damn it. Uh, welcome to a new episode of Banjo Tooie. In the last episode, we, uh, oh god. Yeah, this is not going well for me. Wow, seriously? <laughs> Can I just reset here? Yeah, this is not going well for me. This is not going well, Dar, for me? There we go. Jesus. Alright. Let's see if I can keep going at this. Full of flammable gas. Yes, you are. I know that these one. I know that one of these guys gives me health. Oh boy! Like, why is this? Why was that getting so hard? Like, uh, hold on. Oh, nice. Uh. There we go. Yeah, welcome to a new, uh, new episode of Banjo Tooie. This is Mr. Bright Guy playing, and this uh, this Weldar battle is probably gonna get on my nerves for a while. Since the, that first that first like attack was like like nonsense, like those things like home you. Okay. All right. You would have to like you would have to probably like stay in a corner or something. This is a going as plan. Where are my emergency switch? Oh yeah, that's right, this thing. Yeah, this is not going well. I'll just stay here. Oh come on! Why is that shock me every time? Oh my god, this is getting so hard. Huh! Okay. I guess I'll take that. Um... Okay. Uh... Camera change? Uh, ah, I'm gonna die soon. Uh, can I get that? Can I get that honeycomb, please? Ah, okay. Oh, wait a minute. What the hell did he just? Oh, he just stopped sucking. <laughs> stopped sucking. Ah, <laughs> good one. Um. Goodness. Okay, just shoot it now. Oh, you can just shoot it at first person. Okay. Uh oh. I better move. Okay. All I had to do was that. So I guess I should just, like, stay in a corner then. And then go first person. If it could hurry up and do it. Okay, there we go. Whew! There we go. Oh, wait, what's he gonna do now? Nothing. Alright. I did it. Oh, well. Looks like my welding days are over. We just fucking murdered him. Oh! <laughs> I guess that broke the fan, I guess. Well, then. I honestly thought this was going to be, like, one of the most stubborn bosses ever. <laughs> Which I guess it probably still is, but... All I had to do was go first person. That was it. And now we can finally turn that fan off. Oh my god, that's crazy. Anyways, welcome to another episode of Banjo-Tooie. Ugh. 
I appear to be quite badly injured. That's too bad. Now where's our prize? I guess I can let you have this. Oh, it's not a jiggy yet, but... <laughs> Is that all we get? You gotta be kidding. You may use it to get back out. I stashed my jiggy behind the giant fan for safekeeping, but... There's nothing to stop you from reaching it now. Don't! When will I learn to keep my big mouth shut? You stupid fucker. You motherfucker. Here. Let me... Let me shove you with more... Yeah, there you go. <laughs> let me shove you with more grenades, you son of a bitch. That was close. That, that was so close. Like, why was the first attack, like... Shooting those laser balls... Like, so hard? They were reading every movement. What was what was a what was an enemy that read your movement? Oh yeah, Octorox in uh, Breath of the Wild. <laughs> the Octorox in Breath of the Wild, like they have some hard reads all the time. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, but wait, wasn't there like a wasn't there like a Cheeto page on the other side? Yes, there was. So I can just get to there first. Uh, if I could. If I could see, um, there we go. Yeah, if the camera could go, like, behind me. See, that's what I mean about the camera controls. Like, I know Aaron makes a good point of it being, like, it will always stay behind you. But, like, if you're, like, tucked in a wall somewhere, would it actually go behind you? Anyways. Now let's go get that, now let's go grab that jiggy once and for all. Um, stories, stories. How about some stories? I, uh, it's, it's the weekend, actually. I'll be going to an event tomorrow. Oh, there's a Jiggy. Oh, I have to jump for it. Yeah. Um, oh, jeez. <laughs> I will be going to an event tomorrow. For... It's uh, ANC Games. Their ANC World, actually. It's their gaming section at the store. It's going to have their last day there. It's sad to see it go, actually, because I was only there... I was only in Toronto for, like, two years. And... Ooh, what is this? Oh, wait, isn't there, like, a Jiggy down here? I need Banjo for this. Um... Hold on, I need, need the snooze pack. Um... And I've only been around for two years, and, like, it's sad to see it go already. I've had so much fun, like, hanging out over there. And, in fact, it was, like, my first time that last event that I had, or that I came to, <laughs> that they streamed and everything. Like, the Retro Gaming Jamboree, as they called it. And it was perhaps my last one, actually. They had, like, another Jamboree a while ago, like, probably, like, half a year ago or something. And I didn't attend it because I was busy with something else, or... Or, yeah, maybe I was just busy. Anyways, I got... Finally got all the Jiggies in Grunty Industries. Let's go find the notes. After so long. After so long, I finally get to... Comp uh, complete Grunty Industries. But yeah, like, it's it's already sad to see it go so early for me. But to them, it was like, what? I, re I remember going to their YouTube channel and, like, their new location was, like, two years ago? It was, like, February 2015. It was, like, just two years, like, just over, like, when I moved to Toronto. So, like, February is when I was still in Oakville before I moved to Toronto. <laughs> what a weird coincidence, like... And when I was looking through their tour, it was like... It only showed like half a store because it was half a store back then. Wait, can I not use grenade eggs? No, there's gotta be something. Um... Boom. Nope. <laughs> Don't hit Wumba. No, there's gotta be something. Oh, men's restroom. I forgot. Boom. Alright. 
Oh, hey, look who it is. Hey there, Banjo. Lago, what are you doing here? Well, Grunty ripped me out of her mansion and stuck me in here. Boy, you should see the mess some of those workers make. <laughs> I don't want to know. Anyway, someone thought it funny to fill me full of paper. I really need unblocking, if you wouldn't mind. We do, actually. You? Your toilet paper is pink. That's not right. You, we're stepping in it. Ugh. Oh, wow. <laughs> Did that help? Yep, I can feel movement in my uh, in my U-bend. You'd better stand back. This could be messy. <laughs> you better, uh... <laughs> you better unpause. There, you better, like, black this out. It's a Cheeto book page. No use to me, though. I only like I only like the quilted stuff. I guess you can have it. Nice. <laughs> we bought some dirty toilet paper. Can you lock the door on the way out? I've just been cleaned, and I don't want them filthy workers messing me up. Um, uh, I would actually, but w I think we kind of destroyed it. Can we like gun clog you again? Nah. I'm sure he says something else, too. It's like an Easter egg. Nah, I don't think so. Oh god, not again. What about the, uh, female restroom? Nope. Okay, never mind. I could have swore he said something. As, like, an Easter egg or something. It said so in this, uh... Like, it says so in this little guide here. About, like, uh... Not codes, but like rareware references or like video game references. Here we go. Rare connections. Has uh, Donkey Kong, Rare's opening day. Do the Mario. There's even a reference to the famous Italian plumber Mario in Banjo Tooie. If you talk to Lago, the toilet, in Grunty Industries a second time before unclogging him. Whoops. Kazooie will say, call a plumber. I think Mario's free at the moment. Lago responds, I don't think he does that kind of stuff anymore. Lago is right, of course, as Mario has always been more into traveling to mushroom worlds to fight dragon turtles than plumbing. And go-karting, and golfing, and Super Smash Brothers, and uh, Mario Tennis, and Mario Strikers, and uh, swimming. And horseback riding. And flying to galaxies. You really gotta think, like, would he really be a plumber? If there's, like, if, like, 90% of the games have nothing to do with him plumbing. In the Super Mario 3D world, actually, he, him and Luigi actually fixed a pipe that led to the new world of the, like, the Sprixy Kingdom. That was it. And I don't think they ever... F actually, yeah, actually, in the other pipes that lead to the other worlds in the game, only the Sprixies fix those pipes. So, why does Mario have to do anything with plumbing? He's a... He's a fucking New Yorker plumber. He probably could have just worked at a pizza place. Since, uh... <laughs> Since whenever Charles Martin a such a lovable guy, but whenever he thinks of like when Mario sleeps, he's always like, ah spaghetti, ah ravioli, oh mamma mia, it's so cute. Even in his Instagram, he like goes to a lot of attempt like he goes to a lot of like food restaurants with his Mario figures. It's so adorable. This is gonna be like the most like edited. Banjo Kazooie let or Banjo Kazooie Banjo Tooie let's play I've ever done. Cause I was talking to Erica yesterday, like I'm, I'm on the brink of finishing Banjo Tooie. That game is like the most backtracking ish game ever. There's like so much to go for, instead of going in a straight line. Oh yeah, I can swim faster now. Oh my god. Never thought I see the day would I swim. Oh, there it is. Never thought I see the day 
of me swimming in Jolly Roger's Lagoon with the upgraded swimming technique. Oh my god, it feels so good. Okay, this is the pipe. So, ice eggs. Well, I didn't want Kazooie. There we go. How do you... Um... There we go. That's better. I probably even, like, grabbed the Jinjo anyways. Hey, yeah, would you... There we go. Woohoo! I probably would have swam... No, actually, no, I wouldn't. I was gonna say, I probably should have swam faster. There you are. Nice. Now I got all the red Jinjos. I don't know why I never bothered to grab it while I was here. That's so weird. Alright. Well, I have nowhere else to exit very quickly, so might as well go to the main menu. <laughs> or the main main title. Well, no. Uh, now, uh, Grunty Industries is finally 100% complete. I actually want to go back to, uh, was it Pterodactyl Land or Jolly Roger's Lagoon? It had another Cheeto page that I needed. Oh, wait, no, 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 wait. Oh, yeah, I think I knew. Yep. There's a thing with Kazooie in it. Come on, swim down. Whee! Hey, stop it. Still trying to get familiar with this, uh, Kazooie thing. Yeah! This is probably the way to the ice key. Me! Yahoo! <laughs> Kazooie! Kazickles! Kazinkles! Kaskrakens. <laughs> Anything. Ah, yes. Hailfire Peaks. Whoa, the fucking frame rate. Oh my god. Ah, here we go. Wait, did I just hear Globo? Yes, I do, actually. Oh, wait a minute. It's in there. This is where... I think this is where that Mega Globo is, actually. Because I remember a long time ago in this game. Oh yeah, that guy looks huge. Alright. Yeah. Wow, you caught the legendary Mega Globo. It's supposed to have really special magical powers. Alright. Now, can I quickly get out of here, or do I have to... Wait, how did... Or you know what? <laughs> Let's save and quit again. <laughs> oh, wait, no! Grunty Industries is not 100% complete. I still need the 10 notes. Ah, oh, god damn it. I totally forgot to do that. Because I was just talking to Lago. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Let's just see what happens. Me much surprised, you have the legendary Mega Globo. Wanna give it to Humba? Wait, Humba? I thought your name was Wumba. I thought it was Wumba, not Humba. Well, Hubba Hubba. <laughs> there it goes. Magic ready. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Oh. Nothing happens. <laughs> Wumbo call this dragon. But what's changed? Kazooie now big heap dragon. Burn many baddies. Ooh. Alright, uh, Kazooie, uh... Holy crap! <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> I can burn the whole tent with this! Kazooie's a fucking dragon now! If if Kazooie's a dragon now, how did how did she ever turn back for nuts and bolts? Unless the game code just made her change back. No, but seriously though. Oh, and she has a deeper voice now. Okay. <laughs> wow, that's a that's a huge change actually. That's what the ice key does. Turns her into a dragon bird. 
All right then, let's go get that that Cheeto page. I just want all those numbers matching. That's all. And and to add it to my backloggery as like one hundred one hundred percent completed. I don't care how many times I have to look these up. Okay. This is Hailfire Peaks.